What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Thank you for tuning in. First time seeing my face, my name is Eric. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button while you're here. I really appreciate it. But today, our dining experience takes us to Hartford, Connecticut, home of Fire by Forge. Now, this is a place you should know about. They opened about a little less than a year ago and I kind of use this facility as a training facility for other young chefs. Now, have you ever heard the name Van Hurd? You are not mistaken. He was on season, I believe, six, seven, and eight of Hell's Kitchen. That's right, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. I haven't finished watching the whole series just yet. I think we're on episode three or four. You know, he just got into a fight with, don't, I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it was about 15 years ago 2009 so he has a restaurant here want to try it out so yes we have the up in smoke old-fashioned now it's made by up in smoke bourbon I have no idea where it is the bottles are right behind me I, right in front of me I should have gotten one to talk about it but let's go for it I did get it a little smoky why not man it's an extra dollar for the smoke let's go yes they also have happy hour here, but not if it's gonna be a busy night. It's a little off-putting because if you come here for happy hour and they don't have it because it's busy, they can just decide not to have happy hour. Whatever, maybe call ahead. I don't know, it's like 4.30 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday, and today's Saturday, cheers. Let's give it a shot. Homegirl Susie behind the bar made this for me. Delicious, I get great subtle sweetness up front warm taste from the bourbon it's very smooth it's cold doesn't taste too strong but delicious so we got a few things coming but first they just serve you pickled carrots homemade pickled carrots some people serve chips some people serve bread they got pickled carrots let's give it a shot good carrot flavor my eyesight can be great a little vinegar in there not bad not bad at all guys Quick correction before I get killed in the comments. Van Hurt does not own this restaurant. This restaurant's been there almost a year, but he is the executive chef, brand new executive chef. So, let's set the record straight. Cool, cool. All right, the first thing we have to try this evening, well, firstly, I asked Susie, what would happen if an influencer walked in here and wanted some good food that represents the restaurant? She said, boom, 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 boom. I said, all right, let's do it. So we're starting off with the mole duck wings. As you know, we're duck people. You see wife right there. We're wing people. But we like duck too. But by wing and duck, now I don't know what to make it is. But mole duck wings, five crispy duck wings, tequila mole barbecue sauce, sesame seeds, pickled onions. If you know about mole, mole is like a Mexican sauce. And it can contain like 30, 40, sometimes 50 ingredients to get it right. Have, have all the things blend together. So let's go for it. Cheers, boo. Grab a wing. Are they all drums? Looks like that's a flat. It don't matter. No, it's a drum. Cheers. That's nice. It's smooth. Not necessarily crispy, but definitely cooked all the way through. Tender is the word I want to use. Extremely tender, extremely soft, hearty. Now, to pick the flavors out, this is very tough. The sesame seeds kind of point me toward more of an Asian taste. I get some of that feel. But in a, a, a barbecue mole, it takes me to a different part of the world. These are very hard to describe, but good salt, good balance of flavors. These are well done. Not like cooked well done, but these are executed very well. Nice job, guys. All right, guys, we get our next cocktail here. But first, Susie and her general manager came up with everything you see on the menu. All of these drinks. They came up with together, it's kind of awesome. But, oh, she took the drink back, don't worry about it. Well, I got a drink here, but the drink that's made, don't worry about it. So I have Ghost Rider. It's also an up and down branded liquor, but it is Spiced Night Rider Espresso, Liquor 43, whatever that is, and Orange Twist. It looks beautiful, nice and foamy at the top. Check it out, good coloration. This one's for you, Eloquently Ella. 
She is the espresso martini aficionado. So I wonder what she thinks about this, but let's go for it. That's sharp. So I get that cinnamon, almost some, maybe a hint of nutmeg, and it's not like a spicy flavor. It's like spice, kind of like apple cider spice. Dude. Like it's a nutmeg. That's delicious. Now, it's a little, just a little on the sweet side, but it's good. So espresso martini, kind of want to wake you up. It's uh, about 6.35, Seth Meyers about to start in a little bit. Kind of want to go see him, but we ain't going to make it over for them tickets. Hey babe, they got a 9 o'clock show. We'll be right back. Alright guys, next up is what I think is probably the most important dish on the menu that represents the restaurant. This is the knife skills soup. Now, what do you think of when you hear that? When you read the menu, when learning knife skills, our trainees produce a lot of chopped vegetables, so we turn them into a delicious soup. Now, you may not know this, but 5x4, even before it was 5 by 4 it's kind of used to help people who have barriers to employment. So like incarcerations, or recently incarcerated and got out, or disabilities, or learning disabilities, things like that. They take those people in, they train them, and they even help them find jobs. I was just talking to some customers that were sitting next to us, John and Pam, thank you. But yes, they said they, they've been doing this for years. There's an entire training facility off to my left over here where they train. And then the apartments, they house these people too. Like This is an amazing opportunity for anyone who has a barrier to employment. Look my right here. They decided that their mission, Fire by Forge, is a social enterprise of Forge City Works. That's kind of the business. So remember Main Street? What was that place called? It was in Manchester. Main Street something. But they did a very similar thing with helping people to become employed. Anyway, but yes, this is an awesome, awesome place. Come and support them. It's time to try the soup. I'm very excited. It's a very thick vegetable soup. And it seems to want to stick to the plate. Look, look, look. It is sticking to the plate. <laughs> Let's go for it. A lot of big vegetables in here. I feel like Donovan McNabb. Mm. Delicious. A lot of good flavor in there. Like a hearty vegetable stew. This is fantastic. It's like what you want on a, on a cold winter day. Potatoes, carrots, onions, the celery in here, tomato. This is good. And it's only six bucks. This is very, very good. And again, I want, that's like bartender laughing. And I want to support the mission. Of course. Good job, Fire by Forge. Alright. So when I look online, I see like American fusion restaurant. But as I look down the menu, in the music, it's giving like Latin sort of Mexico vibes and it's okay. I'm with it. But next up we have the Tostones nachos. So it's just four tostones. So it's like a plantain, a fried plantain. So let's read the description. Fried plantains, roasted pork, pico de gallo, queso fresco, mayo ketchup, pickled onions, and micro cilantro. I'm excited to try it out, man. This one's for you, Nacho King. Well, shit, look who just showed up. Wow, I just saw you on Hell's Kitchen. Like, you know, recognize that guy? How you doing? What's up, man? I'm Eric. Sorry guys, I fanboyed out a little bit. Van pulled up. I saw his big teeth, big white teeth. I'm like, oh, that's Van right there. So I had to cut the camera off, talk to him for a little bit. You saw him, but yes, here we go. Toast Tones. It's for you, Nacho King. Let's go for it. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. Wow. There's a lot of flavor right there. That queso fresco is fantastic. The pulled pork. It's so tender, so meaty, so hearty. Wow. The toast stone is cooked perfectly. It's not like super crunchy, like a nacho chip. And it's not mushy. You can kind of see it. it's holding its own weight. This might be my favorite thing so far. Babe, you should try one of these. All right, guys. We overheard John and Pam talking about the Sazerac. I said, hold on. Y'all got absent? Hell yeah, we got absent. I said say no more, because if you follow the channel, that's our drink. It was a drink that was being served when we met. We had it at our wedding. 
we need Sazerac's everywhere we go. And Susie, she's like, nope, leave the absinthe in the glass. So, you can see it being made right now. I can't wait to try it. Let's give it a shot here. Beautifully done. Good balance of sweet with the bitter and that rye whiskey tone. Little burn, just a, a slight burn, like a two on the weedy burn scale. I got scales for everything, it's fine. But this is delicious. I think I like it a little more rye-y, but it's fine. This is delicious. Cheers, Susie. We have one more thing to try, which was personally recommended by the Chef Van Hurt. If you haven't followed him yet, make sure you follow him. Dude was on Hell's Kitchen. It's so, it's so cool to like see the people you see on TV like in person. He looks exactly the same. And that was 15 years ago. Anyway, coming up next. All right, guys, this is the end of the video, but thank you so much for watching this far. I really appreciate it. Make sure you go follow these guys, check them out. But last but not least, we have their Smash Burger. This was personally recommended by Chef Van Hurt. I asked him, I said, yo, we've already had this, 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 and this. He said, well, you covered most of the menu, but our burgers are really good. And also, this is not his menu yet. He's only been here for like three or four weeks. So he's got some time to create his own dishes and bring those to the menu. So maybe in a couple months or so, he might come back. I need a whole different menu. But the Smash Burger, let's go through it. Two, three and a half pound um, certified Angus beef patties, a crystal bun. And actually, what is a crystal bun? So it's got dairy in it. Somebody named Crystal said, it's my bun. I'm gonna name it that. American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, special sauce. You can add bacon or egg if you want to. Well, let's go for it. But first, look at these cute little chips. Check these out. It's a custom ancho rub for, forged by fire. Custom rub, let's go for it. Almost like Cajun. Got a little Cajun there. A little bit of spice, not too salty. Pretty good, but what you here for? This is it? What did you want? Smash burger. Let's go for it, guys. <laughs> it melts. It just absolutely melts. Warm, good salt, good meat. The cheese is perfect. The lettuce and tomato are just there hanging out. You probably don't even need them. But you have them on there so you feel a little healthy eating something like this. But this is fantastic. My wife is taking like four bites and ain't said a word. So I know she thinks it's good. This is fantastic. But guys, remember, there's never an empty tank or empty stomach on this road. Subscribe. We're marching toward 5,000 subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway. We'll figure out what it is when we get there. Anyway, guys, take care. Stay safe. Thank you. I'll wait.